And what are you saying? You healed him like a miracle? Something happened to me when I had that accident. He has a gift beyond measure. Excuse me, did, did Buddy heal you? Yes, yes, it's a miracle. But with power... I want to help people. ...comes a price. He said he was going to heal my wife, and now she's dead. It's making you sick. Look at all the good it's doing. Eddie Cibrian, Lisa Sheridan. Yeah, I love you so much. Healing Hands starts right now on Hallmark Movies and Mysteries. Alice liked the movie you saw last night? <laughs> yeah, she did. You know, but she kept talking about everybody in town that was either married or getting married. It's weird. Hmm. How long have you guys been together? We had our three-year anniversary a month ago. You gotta ask her. Right away. Ask her to marry me? For some unknown reason, she loves you, right? Yeah. You love her? Yeah. What are you waiting for? Beautiful day like this. Look at you guys. You're just not trying. Now, come on. Grow. Out you go, boy. Good morning. Hi. Hey, morning. Hey, we have a favor to ask. Oh, anything. You know that. Hey, Jackson. I was going to do it myself, but uh, I've been vetoed. That's right. What is it? It's the roof, son. Uh, I was going to try and get it fixed before the weather changed. Your Uncle Norm has been feeling a little out of sorts, and I don't want him traipsing up and down that ladder. And I told her it could wait. You told me you wanted it done. And Beth, I'd be happy to do it. In fact, I will go pick up supplies right now before work and get what we need. It's not an emergency, son. Just any time you can. It's fine. Okay. Where are you guys headed? I'm taking him to Dr. Harris, see if we can find out why he's been so short of breath and tired. Fine, I'm fine. Listen, you worked for Ferguson Land and Farm for 30 years. You deserve a little rest, too, okay? Thank you, son. Mm -hmm. Your change. 
Well, this is a surprise. Is everything all right? Everything is great. Hey, come around the counter. Okay. <laughs> Buddy? Alice. <gasps> Is this... Are you... Yes, yes, Alice. Will you marry me? Yes! <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Oh, good. <laughs> Here, we'll take it. I, I couldn't wait till dinner to give it to you, so... Oh, buddy. Cheers! I can't wait to start planning the wedding. I think it should just be small. Yeah, me too. Good, good. Oh, buddy, I'm so happy. Yeah, I was gonna ask you a bunch of times. It's just, I don't know, it works fine, but I just thought I should have a better job so I could provide for you. They keep dangling a supervisor position, but it just hasn't happened. But you've got that handyman thing going on. Yeah, that hasn't taken off like I wanted it to. Buddy, how many times do I have to tell you? None of that matters to me. You're what I want. You, that great big heart. That's what I love about you, who you are inside. I'm gonna do everything I can to make you happy. You do. You make me very, very happy. I guess we're gonna need our own place. I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> you to really think about this well maybe i would have a chance to think about it if you'd stop asking me every two minutes hi hi what's wrong are you gonna tell him or should i tell me what Buddy, your Uncle Norman isn't well. This is not something he needs to worry about. It's cancer. It's advanced. And he doesn't know if he wants to go through the chemo that Dr. Harris recommended to get rid of it. Beth, when it's your time, it's your time. Don't you want as much life as you can get? And now, I know about this chemo. And it makes you sicker than the cancer. So why prolong it? And besides, if the good Lord is calling me home, who am I to argue oh, with him? Oh. Norman. Oh, please, Beth. Oh, please, Beth. Nothing. You could be so selfish and bullheaded. Well, you don't have to be mad at me. Why not try it? You know, you know, if it's that bad, then stop. But see what it is. You're strong. Chemo probably won't even affect a guy like you. Most men your age can't do half the things you can do. No, two against one just ain't fair. Okay. If it'll make you feel better, I'll try it. You promise me. You promise not to be mad at me. <laughs> Damn! Ah, ah. Oh. Let me see it. Come on. No. It's not a big deal. No, it looks bad. It's gonna be fine. Let's go get that thing cleaned up. No. Yeah, come on. It'll be all right. Come on. What are you, my mother? No, at least go put a bandage on it. Get back to work, man. Look, go down to the truck. There's bandages in the glove box. While you're down there, you can pick up another square shingle, okay? No! 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 
走，就不要查行政。Norman, Beth, how are you doing? Well, how do you think we're doing? Well, just tell us, is he going to be all right? We'll know more soon. What? I'm sorry, Alice. Look, we're very lucky because we have Dr. May here. He's a brain specialist. Any head injury carries with it the possibility of brain damage, and if Buddy has incurred any, it could be tricky. Brain damage? At this moment, all we know for certain is that he's had some swelling of the brain. So? It could mean the brain is affected. Affected how? A loss of memory or something like that? Possibly. Maybe some motor function. What I suggest is that you just relax. Have a little patience. I'll let you know the moment I know it. Thank you. Out of here, he's on fire. Nobody can survive the temperature that high. One o four. Yeah. One o two. Okay, let's get him out of there. Okay. He's out of danger. Whatever it was, it's over. You go get some rest. The doctor will be in tomorrow. He'll let you know. is the MRI shows that the swelling in his brain is diminished. I've been waiting until we had some other indications of where we stand. Well, what do you think? Well, it's amazing that he lived through a temperature episode of that magnitude. I'm afraid at this point we have to be prepared for the worst. He may never come out of his coma. 
And if he does, the probability is that he won't have all of his faculties. The next 24 hours are critical. Statistically, if he doesn't revive within that time period, he may never. If you'll excuse me, I'll, I'll check on Buddy's condition in a little while. But he came to us when he was three years old. And the minute I saw him, I knew he was ours. He was just meant for us. He told me he was adopted. Dr. Harris arranged for everything. He was such a handsome boy. They called us Aunt Beth and Uncle Foreman. <laughs> and he was always happy. And full of love. I know. That's what I love so much about him. He appreciates life. Every day is beautiful. He's just happy. You have made him happier yet. There you go. Oh, Sorry. Mike, thank you. Sorry. Thank you, honey. You know, Mike, buddy, has always thought of you as a brother. Good news. Looks like he's waking up. The hand movement is a good sign. Call him. Buddy. Buddy? Buddy, wake up. Buddy, wake up. Buddy. You're here, buddy. Dr. May, he's the doctor who treated you. How do you feel, buddy? Uh, I'm a little headache. Well, you took quite a blow to the head. Well, yeah, I remember falling. I, I don't remember anything. You are very, very lucky, buddy. <laughs> well, it's an incredible recovery, buddy. I've never seen anything like it. Yeah, well, all thanks to you, Doc. Just take it easy for a little while, okay? 
Now, it wouldn't be unusual for you to experience a little headache or some dizziness from time to time, and I'm going to write you a script for that. I'm going to want to see you in a couple of days just to make sure that there aren't any complications, and if there aren't, well, then you can get back to work. Sounds good. Thank you. Good luck. Yeah. Uh, it's a beautiful day. Of course, I think they all are. The world could use more like you. Come on, hurry up, please. Hurry, come on. It's okay, baby, we're here, we're here. You just breathe, just breathe. Everything's gonna be all right. It's just fine. I'm right here, I'm right here. It's gonna be all right. Just hang on. Just keep breathing, it'll be fine. Or oh, no. okay. Mrs. Ferguson. She's been in and out of the hospital for the last six months. Is she gonna be okay? Doesn't look very good. Hey. I'm just parked right over there. Oh, okay. Here, let me help you. Gina, thank you so much for all of your oh, help. It's, it's been, been my amazing. pleasure. I, mean, I, I, I could walk. No, we're not gonna let you do that. I thought I almost lost you. I don't know what I would do without you. I guess it just wasn't my time. You know what we need to do? What? We need to get back to our wedding plans right away. I would love nothing more than that. To spend the rest of my life with you and start our family. Between my job at the hardware store and I know you're going to get that supervisor position at school, there'll be enough. I love you, Alice. I love you too, Buddy Hoyt. <laughs> Son. Oh, thank you. Hey, how you feeling, Uncle Norm? He's starting his treatment tomorrow. Oh, is that right? I'm glad you're giving yourself a chance. Well, let's get you inside where you can lie down. You go rest now, Alice. I am making Buddy's favorite chicken pot pie mm. tonight. You'll stay, won't you? Of course. I don't want to leave Buddy's side ever again. Well, you go and relax for a while, then. <laughs> Beth, I don't know how you do it, but that's the best chicken pot pie I've ever had. She's always been the best cook, but I am the best dishwasher. <laughs> oh, uh, here. Norman, let me help you with that. Hey, I know you're worried about him, but he'll be okay. Aside from you, he's all I've got. I know. Hey, let me get that boy. Why, thank you. How are you feeling, son? Yeah, I feel pretty good. You on your way to your treatment? Yeah, I told Beth I'd give it a try. I, I, I have nothing doing, Norman. I'm driving to the hospital. Hey, you're doing the right thing. Yeah. It's a great hospital. Look what they did for me. <laughs> okay. We'll see you when we get back. I'll be here. Thank you, son. Thank you. You're giving up on me. What's wrong, huh? I'm not having it. You all right? 
What happened? Let me see. Ah, there you go. Huh? There you go. You feel better now? That's good. I'm sure the realtor will be here any minute now. But what do you think? It's a fixer. You don't like it. I didn't say that. Well, you can put all your handyman skills to use, and in in the back there's. Hey. If it's gonna make you happy, let's go for it. But I want you to be happy. This is gonna be great. I am happy. <laughs> Go see the back. <laughs> Hi. Hey. Can I get you anything? Hi, son. No, no, I'm okay. Hey, Jackson. Oh, I don't get a hello like that from him, and I feed that bum every day. Well, how you feeling? I'll tell you, I, uh, I had my first treatment this morning, and it was nothing. I feel fine. That's because you're so strong. Well, that's good to hear, because I want to know if you'd be my best man. Son, I'd be honored. I'd be honored. Good. <laughs> All right. Gotta make a pit stop. Whoa. What? What's going on with your finger? Oh, yeah, no, it's nothing. Nothing? Mike, this thing's infected. No, no, it's, uh, it hurts a little. I should have seen Dr. Harris, but it's gonna be okay. Mike, you want it to get better, don't you? Yes. Where are we going? Oh, we're gonna have to lance that. Now, look, it's not gonna be any different from when I was patching up your knees when you were little boys. Which hurt, too. There you go. You know, it's like dealing with an infant. Yeah, I know. Worse. Buddy, I need you to hold that hand of his. All right, be, be careful. I gotta use that at the millworks tomorrow. Okay. You ready? I'm ready. What if I'm not ready? Yeah, I... We haven't done anything. Oh, look at that. Okay, okay. Now, oh. under the water. Yeah. Run it under the water. <laughs> good, good. Now, put that on it. Buddy, I want you to keep pressure on that. I'm going to get some disinfectant and some bandages. Okay. Ow! Don't hurt it! Hey, you want me to help you, don't you? Yeah, but don't hurt it. All right, there you go. See, Mike? One so bad. All right. How's that feel? Tingly? <laughs> really tingly. Yeah. yeah. Good. Okay, how's my patient buddy? I asked you to keep pressure on this. Sorry, I just got a little dizzy. But. It's all right because it's all better. Would you look at that? Works good too. I have never seen anything like that. Wow. <laughs> My God. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Lily 
asked me to be a bridesmaid in her wedding. Do you think that means that I have to ask her for ours? Because I really, I wanted to keep it small. Buddy? Yeah. You okay? Just thinking about some things. What things? Some things that happened with Jackson and with Mike. What sort of things? You know, Jackson had some glass that was stuck in his paw. And I took it out and I was rubbing his paw and then the cut just went away. Like nothing had ever happened. So he must not have been hurt that bad. And then there was Mike's finger. Mike's finger? Oh, you should have seen it. I mean, it was, it was swollen and infected. And I took him to see Aunt Beth. Aunt Beth lanced it and I was putting pressure on it. And Mike said it started to tingle. And then it was completely healed. Like nothing had ever happened. Well, you said Aunt Beth lanced it, so... All the infection must have come out, and the little pinprick, you wouldn't even see that. I mean, just like that? It was just gone. That quick? You should have seen it. Well, there's got to be some explanation. What are you saying? You healed him like a miracle? I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> Buddy. Maybe something happened to me when I had that accident. I think something did. I think it increased your imagination. <sighs> well, think about it. The dog probably wasn't hurt that bad, and you said Aunt Beth lanced his fingers, so all the bad stuff came out, and that's it. Yeah. I mean, I guess you're right. I mean, what else could it be? I, I didn't see it. I swear I didn't see it. Kelly! Okay, I'll call 911. We're racing! And Kelly! She was waiting, but she always does. We were in the street, and, and she should have stopped at the stop sign, but she did it. It's okay. And then the man's car was there. It's okay, sweetie. Help us on the way. Your friend is going to be just fine. Where is that ambulance? Can you hear me? What is she doing? Excuse me. Will you help Kelly? Honey, can you hear me? Can you help her? Honey? I don't know if should touch you, sir. You want me to help you? Good at all. Did they say when they're going to be here? No, they I mean, should be here any second. Moving. Okay. Is gonna be okay, Mister. Be careful. Be careful. See what happened here? Uh, yes, I did, officer. Right now, ma'am. Is she all right? She seems all right. Not a scratch on her. 
The little girl's very lucky. There was a man who helped her. A man who? She's right, there was a man. He gave her CPR or, or something. Ma'am, whoever he was, I think he just saved your little girl's life. Did anyone see where he went? Oh, God, are you okay? Are you okay? I'm fine. Dad is going to be in town to give me away. And he's all excited about giving me this dowry, which basically amounts to a savings bond from... Oh, buddy? Are you okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. It just, I just, I, fe I feel like you're not listening to me. Oh, I'm listening, I just, I don't know. I think I'm a little tired from the accident still. I told you not to go back to work too soon. Yeah, I know. Morning. Hey, morning, everybody. Uh, how you feeling, Uncle Nor? I'm still here. He was doing okay with the chemo until today. Not so good today. But in the long run, it'll be worth it. That's right. Well, the problem is, when you're my age, the run isn't so long anymore. If I'm gonna feel like this... Yeah, well, you're not gonna stop now, are you? No, you can't do that. You gotta give yourself a chance. That is what I'm doing. I'm gonna go sit in my chair for a while. Okay. Did you see about that mystery Samaritan? That's a bunch of silliness, if you ask me. I, I'm fine. That, um, that girl sure was lucky. Well, you know, it could have been a miracle. Maybe it was. Oh, Beth, there's no such thing as miracles. There, there's family, and there's work, and then you die, and that's just the natural order of things, all right? What if there is somebody who could put his hands on you and make you feel better? Buddy, I just don't believe in that stuff, okay? Yeah, but wouldn't you want that, Uncle Norm? Buddy, what are you doing? I just want to help you. Well, it, it just feels like you're tickling me. Now stop it. Go on now. Stop that. I could help you, Uncle Norman. I helped that little girl who was in that accident. It was you? <laughs> that, that would make you the mystery Samaritan? That's a good one, Betty. That's very funny. I got you, huh? Well, yeah. Well, you got me, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah, I was tr trying to make you laugh, that's all. <sighs> um, well, I gotta get to work. Have a good day, sweetie. Yeah. Be careful, boy. <sighs> Honey, I'll... I'll say one thing that... I do feel a bit better. Well, you needed a good laugh. Yeah. <laughs> I guess so. I guess so. It's him. Who? This is the man who saved you. It is? Don't you know him? It's Buddy. Girls? There you are. This is him, Mrs. Boxby. This is who saved Callie. Buddy? 
Dawn, is this just one of your stories? No, it's him. Okay, come on, we should go. It's him. Um, they're right, Mrs. Boxby. I'm the one who helped your daughter when she was hurt. See? It was him. Thank you. Thank you, buddy. Did you thank him, honey? Thank you. I was hurt real bad, huh? I'm just glad you're okay. We were so lucky that you were there and that you knew CPR. But it, was it wasn't just... CPR. Because in our brownie trip, we had to watch a fireman give CPR to a big doll on the floor. That's not what he did. See, she had a big cut right here, and he just, like, rubbed her back, and the cut was gone, and she woke up. You remember. Right, Kelly? Yeah. Now I do. I hurt. I wanted to stop hurting. And then I felt kind of warm. Like I was in the shower, but only without the water. It's a miracle. That's really what it is. It's an honest-to-God miracle. What did you do? Can I touch your hands? <laughs> I don't know what to say, buddy. Thank you. You're welcome. So how does it feel to be the mystery Samaritan? <laughs> I guess it's not much of a mystery anymore, huh? <laughs> so what Mrs. Boxby and Callie said is true. I was just driving by and I saw that this little girl was hurt. I just wanted to help. Um, could I get a little smile? Yeah. Three. Great. Well, thank you so much for your time, buddy. You're welcome. And um, this will be in the paper tomorrow. Is that right? Yeah. Have a good night. Drive safe. Thanks, I will. I always knew you were special. Got a minute? Yeah. Okay. Someone want to tell you. Why are you being so secretive? Just something I want you to know. Know what? Well, there's an article in the paper about me today. You're the mystery Samaritan? Even know you knew CPR. That's the thing, because I don't. Something must have happened to me when I hit my head and I had that fever and everything. I know this sounds crazy, but that's why I'm telling you. Okay? Somehow, I can heal people. Buddy, I don't know. There's what nothing not to know. I, I'm I mean, telling you. That's not what I meant. Alice, I just. I know. Look, I know. I know it sounds crazy, but this is going to be good for us. I've been given a gift for whatever reason. I need to help people. You know, growing up, I always thought I was different. I didn't know why. I didn't know if it was because I didn't know who my real parents were or why they left me, but I always felt that there was there was something inside of me waiting to get out. Something was going to happen. And now it has. <laughs> Things are going to be different. You're going to be so proud of me. All right. <laughs> okay. <laughs>
I uh, brought you these. Thank you. They're beautiful. <laughs> Your garden, I have never seen it looking so good. You know, it's funny. Flowers I just have an instinct. Like reaching up for the sun. And they just want to live. Sometimes I wonder if they don't know more about life than we do. How are you feeling? You just stay away now. What? I don't want you handling me. Don't you want to feel better? You give up this healing thing, son. You just tell people that you were kidding. You just tell them you're kidding. What are you talking about? You've got it good now. You got a job. And you you got a woman who loves you. And a, a nice future. And that's all a person needs. I want to help people. I mean, I want to help you. Well, I won't be a part of it. I'm just trying to help. That's all. Now, this one comes with a three-year warranty, so I think it's a bit of a Okay. Oh, hey, give me a minute. Yeah. What do you think? You sold? Yeah. Great. Hey, did you get off work early? Yeah, no, I, I left early. Are you feeling okay? Yeah, it's just... Something, something's going on with Uncle Norman. He doesn't want my help. You're the guy, right? The healer of Hartley? Uh, my name's Buddy. I told you, Connie, it is him. My elbow is just killing me. It, it, it hurts whenever I bend it. You want me to help you? Of course I do. Yeah. How's that feel? Uh, it feels better. Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, yeah. Let me call you Thank back. You. Thank you. Did you have any? No, 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 please. No, no. No, 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 no. I insist. I insist. Take it. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you. It's a great thing to do. One at a time. And where does it hurt? It's your shoulder? Good. Have a look at it. They want my help. Look at them. It's okay. I know, but buddy, not here. It's all right, Alex. It's gonna be okay. It's gonna be fine. Excuse me. I'm sorry. I'm sure your fiance is putting on this. Just that I'm so sorry. I will get him out here right away. Oh, are you kidding? This is good for business. Let's see if you love me with blood pressure. Hey, 
Can you help me with my blood pressure? Buddy heal someone today? I... Who, who here was healed by Buddy? Yeah, that was just the uh, babysitter. Oh, oh, I gotta get going, huh? Buddy! Are you okay? Yeah. Helping those people. I just got, I got really dizzy and I got this horrible headache again. I want you to see Dr. Harris. Right, I think I should. No, I mean right now. Now? Right now. I'll drive. Buddy, your vitals are a mess. Is it the healing? Well, yeah, it's taking a big toll on you. You're paying a big price for it. It's sapping your energy. Yeah, you're the first person who hasn't treated me like I'm crazy. <laughs> Is that so? Yeah, I... Even the people who know me best, they... They seem like they've changed. They have or you have? I don't know. I guess I'm confused. This is the name and address of a woman that I used to know a long time ago. She was a healer, like you. Leah Gardner. Yeah. I think she might be able to help you figure things out. What did he say? I guess everything's pretty much okay. Well, what, what does that mean, pretty much okay? Well, I guess the healing weakens me a bit. It's nothing serious. Well, then that means you have to stop. Let's just go home. What are you going to do, buddy? What do you have in mind? To be a professional healer for the rest of your life, even if it kills you? Oh, no, it's not. Is this how you want to live your life? People coming up to you all the time like you're a circus act, wanting you to heal them, people coming out of the woodwork. Oh, I could give you so much more now. Buddy, why don't you listen to me? I don't want any more. I have always been proud of you. It's making you sick. Look at all the good it's doing. Look at all the good I'm doing. People look up to me now. All these people, they don't care about you. All they care about is you healing them. They don't care about what this is doing to you. Maybe we just need to think about this a little. I don't have to think about it. I know.
Excuse me. Are you lost? Is this Fisher Lane? And if it is? Um, well, I'm looking for a woman named Leah. Why would that be? I heard she's a healer. I'm sorry. She used to live here a long time ago. I'm sorry to bother you. It's quite all right. You mind if I ask you your secret to your garden? Secret? Yeah, it's so healthy. Plants want to be healthy. Just help them, they'll thrive. It's fine. I was just saying that same thing a couple days ago. My garden started to grow. Just by me touching it. People could learn that from plants. Some people don't want help, so they can't be helped. Plants, you know, they want to live. I know what you mean. What did you say your name was? Buddy. Buddy Hoyt. Who sent you out here, buddy? Dr. Harris did. Over in Hartley. Hold out your hands. You have the gift? Yeah. I knew Leah. When she first discovered she could heal, she was happy. She felt worthy and wanted. Then people started demanding things of her that she couldn't give. They used her up, and, and she let them, because it made her feel like somebody. Finally, it killed her. That's terrible. I think Leah would tell you to figure out if you want the gift, and if you do, why? I guess that's why I wanted to talk to her. She'd say give it up. But what if I like helping people, no matter what it does? My condolences, Buddy White. Leah. Leah's gone. That's a grave over there. Natasha Kling. Hi, this is Brian Green from KBIC TV. I'm calling about Buddy Hoyt, the healer of Hartley. We'd like to send a crew down for a story for a six o'clock news. Really? Uh, well, you know, I could probably save you some time, point you to some people to interview. Is this guy for real? I was skeptical too, but I think Buddy Hoyt is a true miracle. I'll take your word on it. I'm a reporter, Mr. Green. I report the truth. No offense, but as you can imagine, we get a lot of these. Miracle workers, healers. Well, you called me, Mr. Green. I'm going to continue to report this story whether you come down here or not. We'll be there. Buddy Hoyt? Yeah, that's right. Mr. Ferguson? I need your help. My wife is very ill. She's dying. The doctors tell me she only has a few days to live. I'm sorry. I, I saw your wife when they brought her into the hospital. I read your story in the newspaper. I need you to heal her. to bring his gift to my wife. That's your decision? 
My professional suggestion to you, Mr. Ferguson, is to say what you have to say to her now. There's not much time left. You want me to help you? God wants me now. All I want to do is go to him. <laughs> Let me go, please. I could help you live. Um, she, she didn't want to. What are you talking about? She, she just doesn't want... She doesn't want what? Lindsay? <laughs> Lindsay? Baby? She has everything to live for. You're my girl. Lindsay, I love you. Mr. Ferguson. Hi. I'm Natasha Kling from the paper, and these people are from KBIC TV. They would like to tape Buddy as he heals your wife. As he heals my wife? Yes, somebody called me and said that Buddy Hoyt was here to heal her. Let me tell you something. Buddy Hoyt is a fraud. What? That's right. It's an absolute fraud. He said he was going to heal my wife, and instead I think he killed her. Uh, are you saying... That you're seeking charges? No, all I'm saying is I brought him here and he said he'd heal my wife and now she's dead. We gotta be ready to roll, okay? Let's go. Hold on there. Hold on. What are you doing? What are you doing here? We wanted to get a statement from Buddy Hoyt, <laughs> wondering if he wanted to clear his name of the fraud charges against him. God, no, my, my son Buddy Hoyt is no fraud. Now you're trespassing. Get off my property. Come on, get off. Get out of here. Go on. No, no, you should not be out here. Go back in the house. I <laughs> brought them out of here. You're trespassing. He is a sick man. Can't you see that? He has cancer. He does not feel well. <laughs> Why doesn't the healer of Hartley help you? Or is it the truth that Buddy Hoyt is a complete fraud? Leave us alone or I'm gonna call the police. You should be ashamed of yourself, lady. Come in here like that. Come. Okay, we'll leave with this at six. Let's pack up. There's nothing left there. You got something. Just plead mean. What are you talking about? It doesn't believe. 
believe in his own son. I do believe in him. I don't believe in miracles. Oh. Never have. And here he's been doing them. What does it take? What does it take? Wasn't Buddy a miracle? Buddy himself. When Dr. Harris told us about him out of the clear blue sky, didn't we say, this is a miracle? <laughs> yes. Yes, we did. He needs us to believe in him. He needs us to believe in him. That's what he needs. Okay. Right. What's the big deal? He can he can hug me or, or pat my back or do whatever it is he does. And what's wrong with a, a son wanting to hug his father? Huh? Or a father wanting him to do it? Huh? Or a husband wanting to live as long as he can? I can believe that, Pete. I can believe that, too. It's not right. You know, all I wanted to do was help people. And you did. When I saw you on the news, I knew you were in trouble, and all I wanted to do was be with you. Buddy, I love you so much. Alice? Yeah, buddy? I want to go back to the way things were. I see it now. Every time I heal somebody, my headaches and my dizziness, they get worse, and I don't want to die. I want to be with you. That's the, that's the most important thing to me. Oh, buddy. I'm so glad. I mean, I don't know what I would do without you. Luckily, you're never going to have to find out. Buddy, I know you saved my Callie. What they're saying about you isn't true. You need to keep using your gift. Hello. Hi. What can I do for you? I'm looking for some easy to grow seeds. Oh. We have these nasturtiums. Have you ever tried them? They're so easy to grow. These are my oh. Okay. Hi, Alice. Hey, um, one minute. Take your time. Okay, I'll get two packs. Okay. Mm-hmm. Got that. Got that. Looks good. All right, see you next week, Alice. She has massive internal injuries. She's on life support. I'm sorry. Buddy! 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 You have to go to work. You have to work your miracle.
want you to tell me that you want me to help you. those kind of things, I'd say he performed a miracle. But something happened, and well, whatever it was, it took everything out of him. Where's Buddy? Can't he come in? Uh, sweetie, Buddy was here. He wants you to be well. But he was here. Alice, you've been through so much. I feel fine. I need to rest. Just to be sure. It was him. He healed me. I felt him. I felt his heart. Which means... Buddy! Sweetie, no. Alice? Mike? Ma Where is he? Ma Where is he? Mike! He's my best friend. I'm sorry, Doctor. That's all right. We've done everything we can, Alice. There's no one to heal him. Too late. Only the spirit knows when it's time to leave a broken body behind. When its time is finished here on Earth.
Love is a gift, and this I give to you. Love is the truth in which I live for you. My heart is twisted inside my chest. I couldn't stay away. I you said. I know. I had to let the world think that Leah was dead. So that I'd be able to live. Maybe now we can get reacquainted. What? I'm your mother. It killed me to give you away, buddy. I thought that if you lived with a regular family, the, the chances might be better that you would never know your gift. And you'd be able to live happily without it. Destiny wins every time. It's foolish to think otherwise. Look, um, I have nothing to say. No, I just wanted to tell you that I'm sorry. About what? Well, if I hadn't written those articles about you, maybe things would have turned out differently. I don't know. Uh, you were just doing your job. You know, everything runs its course. I could heal, now I can't. End of story. But if you want to write about something, I am getting married next week. Really? Yeah. Congratulations. Thank you. Get you out of here. Right. Bye. 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 Bye, buddy. We've been waiting. Careful, Jackson. Bye. All right. <laughs> <Hi>. <laughs> oh, it is 
so good to be home. Hey, guess what? That Mrs. Boxby called from school to offer you the supervisor position with a raise. Buddy! <laughs> Buddy, I know it's too late now, but still, I, I want you to know that I, I believe in you. I should have let you try and help me. I want to spend every moment I possibly can with Beth. You were right. Now I've lost the chance. Don't say that. There's miracles all around us all the time. Here. I predict many more years for you, Uncle Norm. Well, let's get something to eat. Come on, you. All right, let me help. You bet. Can you come in, buddy? Yeah, you know, give me a second. I'll be right in. Okay. All right. Just between you and me, all right? 